Welcome to the draw of my life about why we are ugly. In this video, we will reveal why we are all very ugly. Every morning after getting up, you go to the bathroom. And looking at yourself in the mirror, you wonder, as if the magic mirror were to answer, am I that ugly? Let's see, maybe not really. You insist while combing that hair with which little can be done. Although being ugly doesn't matter because beauty is only inside, right? This question is unthinkable for a child. They look at themselves in the mirror with self-esteem. But when does the self-esteem break much like a mirror, when they see themselves? You start to know you are ugly when you are told you are, and the bubble of happiness explodes. This usually happens in adolescence, a stage in which young people are vulnerable and ugly. The pimples come out, the noses grow, and the moustaches, like the braces, are an everyday occurrence. Makeup tries to fix the ravages of the door, although it almost always makes them worse. When we leave adolescence behind, the ugly ones hope that the handsome and fit will go downhill and end up all fat and unsuccessful. While you will be a successful and beautiful person, because it is what you deserve, most likely this is not the case, but how one can dream. As we all know, society is based on beauty standards that are plagues. Social ideals are symmetry and proportion, and they your beauty. At first, the symmetry is related to the physical and intellectual capacity. Now we also look for it, but not strictly since perfect symmetry would not allow us to express emotions well. You also have to keep in mind that some features are more important than others. For example, the beauty of the Mediterranean countries is characterized by a large nose and dark eyes. While the Nordics are partial to small eyes and chin, as well as light skin and clear eyes. In any case, the standards in social media have digging our grave with a big smile. It creates some models of people that all, ugly and handsome, are forced to follow and if we don't meet those expectations, then we are lost. All the deep down, we all know that unique beauties are the best. Well, and let's not forget the fame and power, and its ability to beautify anyone, if not, so Cristiano Ronaldo. So if you're ugly, don't worry, because a good attitude can give you fame, and that gives you everything you want. This explains the theory of natural selection, that the strongest does not survive, but the most apt and capable of giving equally suitable offspring does. Similarly, in ancient times, Men prefer women with large hips to be able to give birth more easily. The fact is that the search for one's attractiveness, which is not the same as beauty, is due to the fear of being rejected in society. And that is why we dedicate much of our time to improve our personal image without realizing that the image is not only the physical but our actions. And therefore, if you want to change the way people look at you, you have to start working on your self-esteem to be happier, and thus more attractive. But like Adrian Brody, you have to learn to love yourself as you are. Come on, don't expect someone to love you, if you're not able to look in the mirror. Luckily, beauty is the most subjective. Remember the shock you had when you met your friend's boyfriend, who she said was handsome. So if someone tells you that you're ugly, tell them that your mother doesn't agree. But dear people, we have good news for you. Ugly people don't exist. Ugliness is not a physical state, but a mental one. And as it says in The Little Prince, the essential is invisible to the eyes. And we agree that beauty comes from within. So here is the draw of my life about why we are ugly. If you liked it, then click on like and share it. And comment with what you like best about being beautiful.